How's it going YouTube? This is Gemini's 5280 here. I'm here with Evergreen Peaks Airport update number 15. I got two number nine or two new models in here. Uh, late afternoon time frame, and I'm gonna do updates here uh, for the foreseeable future, as if the COVID-19 travel or COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the travel bans or travel halts, are not happening. Um, just to keep things rolling like normal. I feel like it's more interesting to see. Uh, please drop a comment if you'd rather see me do updates like the last Great Lakes one. Um, that one was effective with COVID-19 with all the groundings and everything, but I'd rather just have full updates, get a bunch of planes. It's a little more interesting other than like there's three flights going out um, and the rest of the airplanes are just parked or have no airplanes at all. Um, drop a comment down, down below what you think. Um, but uh, before we get to the updates, I want to show you guys something new I'm working on here. I actually just finished it up, but I got a new runway layout here for Denver. Um, if you remember, it was just this white poster board with some blue uh, painter's tape on it. Uh, so I printed out a bunch of foils, put a lot of time this evening into putting this together. Um, it looks super cool. Um, got the runways with the right numbers. It looks nice. Um, so that will be um, debuting here soon. Um, I also have had some suggestions for new airports um, from my Instagram. Um, just looking to spice things up, change it up for a little bit. So some ideas that I really liked were um, San Diego, uh, San Jose, uh, someone has to do Kona again, uh, so that will be in the pipeline. A um, couple other cool ones. Um, Minneapolis was in there. I'll try to see if I can make it work. Um, Minneapolis will be a tough one. I have the amount of airplanes for it, aside from the Delta Connections. Um, but uh, it'd be the space and the way that airport's laid out is pretty difficult to do. Uh, but that's something I'm interested in doing as well, so I'll try to do that. Let me know if there's any airports you'd like to see down below. Um, let me see if I can pull up the list real quick. Uh, that people requested. Um, also got Grand Rapids, Michigan, Tampa. Uh, those are cool ideas. I like those. Boston and LA. Um, I'm not sure if I have the space for it, um, but ideas. And then uh, Colorado Springs would be small but easy to do. Uh, Chicago here, I don't know if I'm able to do. And then the other ones I mentioned ahead, but if you like to see any of those or any other ideas, wow, I'm so sorry to drop my phone. Um, any other ideas for airports you'd like to see me do an update of, please try to keep it US domestic or maybe Canada. I only have a couple Air Canada's, so it'd be kind of tough to do that. But something that you think I could do, I got a ton of American United Delta models, well, Southwest, uh, Frontier, Spirit, JetBlue, everything. Um, let me know if there's something you'd like to see. But anyways, we're gonna get into the update now. We're gonna move over here to the cargo side. I just realized I never ended up putting the the uh, GSC over here, but we got a FedEx 767 300 headed to Ontario, empty FedEx spot, and then a UPS MD-11, which is gonna head down to Louisville. Then our Prime Air 767 300 headed to Cincinnati. Over here in our Frontier hangar, we got two A321s and an A320. And then an A320 parked outside that will be departing shortly. It's really bright over here, right? Nice little light. Uh, then on short final, from runway 27 left, we have a Delta 737-800 inbound from Detroit. And then just about to take off from runway 27 right is our American A319 with sharklets headed out to Chicago O'Hare. Number one for departure is a Frontier A321 headed to Orlando. And a FedEx MD-11, which is taxing out to Memphis. Quick overview of the airport here. We've got the A concourse to the left, where we're going to head next, and the C concourse over there. First up is our WestJet Encore Q400 headed to Calgary. We have adults connection CRJ700 operated by SkyWest headed to Salt Lake City. We have a Delta A220, which is pushing back for a flight to Seattle. A Delta 717 headed to Minneapolis, St. Paul. And then a Delta A320 headed to Atlanta. Uh, catering truck's way too short. Um, then we have a empty Delta gate here. I gotta fix the catering truck. There we go, much better. Um, next up's our friends here, 320. Neo Colorado Bighorn Sheep headed to San Francisco. Empty Frontier Gate here. 
Frontier 320, uh, this is Betty the Bluebird headed to Cincinnati. Gate 810, the common use gate. We have a United 737 700 loading up for a flight back to Newark. Pushing back to the United A319, headed to San Francisco. And the first of two models, we have a United Express, operated by Express Jet, Embraer 175. Uh, this aircraft is going to head to Houston. Another view. I really do like the new United delivery. Um, I know it's somewhat controversial, but I think it's really nice. Um, it's kind of a cool view there of it, uh, but it looks really good. Um, I think it looks best on, oddly, on the regional jets. I love the 145 and the Sierra J700 in it. Um, I think the 200 actually looks pretty good. I think the 737s look good. The Airbuses don't look bad. Um, so I really think it looks pretty good. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Next up is JetBlue A320, blue finest uh, livery, headed to Long Beach. JetBlue A321, headed off to JFK. Another JetBlue A321. Um, this is a new gate for JetBlue. I kind of modified the layout over here. Um, this JetBlue A321 is headed to Boston. American A320, headed to Phoenix. Spirit A319, uh, just about ready to push back for Las Vegas. Empty American gate here. Empty common use gate where we have an Air Canada Express U170 taxing in from Toronto Pearson, operated by Sky Regional. Next up is our second new model, one I'm excited to have another copy of. Uh, I have two of these now, the American A321. Uh, this is Air Classics uh, with the non-winglets version. Uh, I really, really like this model. Uh, so I was able to find another one and I was super happy to get it. Uh, grabbed it super quick. Anyways, this one is headed to Dallas-Fort Worth. Sorry, this one's going to go to Charlotte, actually. We have a American Eagle CRJ-700 operated by SkyWest pushing back for a flight to uh, Los Angeles. Another new JetBlue gate's over here now uh, instead of C8. So this was a new American gate. Uh, this was an old American gate. This is a new Ameri or JetBlue gate. Um, this one's headed to Fort Lauderdale. Last but not least is our Alaska E-175 operated by Horizon. I'm um, going to be operating a flight to Seattle, Tacoma. That concludes this update. This is a really small airport, so we get through the updates nice and quick. Um, but again, like I said before, let me know if you have airport suggestions. Uh, let me know what you think of that United new livery. Um, and I uh, hope everyone's staying safe out there. I know it's a weird time. Uh, very unprecedented for the especially for the aviation industry kind of a big halt on everything there but things will get back to normal and uh everyone just stay safe and uh do your social distancing and self-quarantining and uh we'll see you guys in the next update uh raleigh durham should be up next should be kind of up here in the next couple of days thanks for watching we'll see you guys soon